What year is this Tundra? Oh, two. It's a 2002 Tundra. First gen. First generation. And a lot of other vehicles, including Tundras, uh, the, the door gets loose, up, you know, flops up and down. You can see the movement right here. You know, it's literally just flopping around. Very common problem. So, first we remove the bolts that are holding it on the door over here. And to make it less work, we just have an assistant over here. <laughs> I've already started on this thing. Uh, it's basically what it is here. It's just a pin and the, on both sides it's, uh, you know, there's no nut or anything. So you have to actually grind it off. And what I did is I used this tool and I grind it like back and forth slowly and carefully until the top is gone like this and once it's flush once it's flush I get a drive pin and put it right here and then hammer it through all the way until it comes out and remove this thing Done grinding it down. It's flush. It's ready to get knocked out with the driver pin. that one Yay. and these are the bushings that they come with these are these are plastic pieces of crap right here Toyota quality right here but this is the same as I see I think 350z I seen this problem on recently and some other Japanese cars and some other cars but this is the kit for the Toyota Tundra. What range is this Tundra? Um, 2002-2006 and I also believe it does a Sequoia as well. 2002-2006 to 2006 and the Sequoia. This is the part number. It's 38470. Dorman. In the help section you probably get it at AutoZone or O'Reilly's or something. Advanced Auto Parts. And this is what you get in the kit. This pin right here. Uh, a nut and these are actually metal so you push these on I'm not going to do it perfectly for you but you put these in here and then um, you line this thing up like this you tap this in a little bit and then use a nut and tighten it down flat you know, have the, the surface on the outside I found that these are not perfectly smooth once installed so I press it in first to make sure it's smooth like that. okay now it's ready There's a little stopper right there. Make sure this goes smooth. Alright, now that I hammered that flush, 
install the nut on the bottom okay it's a little tight so I'll back it off a little bit okay that's smooth and it's not doesn't wobble at all anyone can do this at home doesn't you just probably need an assistant like I have a uh, you know 13 millimeter for the, the nut that comes with the kit you need a 12 millimeter uh, preferably just a open end or box wrench to take these out there's four of these in the door these bolts have little steps on them. Everything's back together. The door is not, is really solid. Doesn't wiggle or nothing. Very nice. Another thing that, uh, early warning sign, this part will break or come loose plastic piece right here because the door is moving up and down so just keep that in mind I actually had to cut this open and weld it a new nut on the inside that was not fun